This is Max Headspace 9mm and we are talking about sights on military carbine rifles. Um, we have three different rifles we're going to look at today. The first that I have here is a, uh, a uh, AR-15 or M16 or M4. These are all the uh, American versions of the gun. Uh, civilian versions would be the AR-15 and military is M16 and M4. So this is the American sight for the AR-15. It has a peephole and this is the long distance one. The sight is also able to flip up for a larger opening that allows for easier target acquisition at close range. The uh, the blade in the front is protected by a couple of little prongs on each side just to keep it from getting banged around. And then you have this wheel and this wheel which allow you to adjust the sight up and down and side to side. The, the uh, sight radius between the rear sight and the front sight on this gun, which is a 20 inch barrel, is probably about 20 inches. So that's really good, and there's something about the way this sight is designed that it's really quite easy to use, it's easy to see out of. Um, I really like it quite a bit. Next, we have the AK-47. Now this is a much smaller sight radius. I'd say we've got about 14 inches of sight radius on this gun. It has a 16 inch barrel. And um, it's a much more traditional type of arrangement. You have a notched rear sight and a pin in the front, which is also protected by a bit of a shroud on each side. It's adjustable. You can raise and lower it by squeezing these pins together and pushing them forward or re rearward. And you see here you've got 100, 200, 300 meters and so on. Very, very simple, very robust and it works really well. And even though the sight radius isn't really big, it's uh, very easy to pick up and AKs are really not designed for long distance shooting anyway. Their strength is 100 yards and closer. So perfect sights for that type of a gun. And next we have an HK, HK-93, and they have this interesting arrangement. It's really kind of impressive how complicated this sight is, actually. You have this cylinder here. It has a notch for the 100 meter reading, and then you've got 200, 300, and 400 meters, which is all holes at different heights in that cylinder. And you can literally just turn this to the different uh, locations so that you can use the different holes and apertures and sights for the different distances you're talking about. The front pin is protected inside of this ring and the ring not only does protect the pin but it also kind of creates a bit of a shadow over it. It's easier to pick up if it's in shadow than if it's got light glinting off of it. The idea being that out in the sunlight the shadowed pin is easier to see against a bright background. And this gun has a sight radius probably similar to the AR-15 of about 20 inches. So, you might be asking the question, which one do I like the best? Well, I know which one I like the least. I like the least the HK. Now here's why. The HK is probably the most complicated of all three of these sites. And in this case, complication does not necessarily make it better. The rear part of the site is so close to the shooter's eye that it's pretty much always blurry. At least it is for me. It's, it's um, almost might as well not be there. 
if it's that blurry and I can't really line that pin up with the notch or the hole very well because I can't see the rear sight, I can't shoot this gun as accurately as I can the other two. Which is a shame because it's a very accurate rifle in every other respect. The AK I, I actually have a fair degree of success with. This is very easy to shoot. Lining up the, um, the notch and the pin is just extremely simple. The brain does that almost instinctively. You really don't need a long sight radius with this because you know that that notch is just about the same width as the pin. So um, if they were further apart it really wouldn't make any difference that I can see. You know when it's right and you know when it's wrong. It's absolutely foolproof. Um, it's lightweight, it's easy to use, it's rugged, and it's the way most rifle sights work. So I think we're pretty much used to that mentally and how to make it work. So I like the AK sights. I think they're really good. They're very successful. But I would have to say that in this contest, the winner is going to be the AR-15 sights. It is a very good design. Uh, it's the very easiest for me to find the center of that aperture and put that pin in there and get a good accurate shot especially when I use the smaller aperture. I can shoot at a hundred yards with this quite accurately. I can also shoot at closer distances and pick up the sight and the target very quickly easily and and um, without any kind of confusion or problems. So it's a little more complicated, but I think it's worth it. And it's much more adjustable. You can really fine tune this pretty easily. So um, it's a design that I think works really well. I've never had any glitches or problems adjusting this and getting it to work. And it's a very elegant and robust design. I'm actually a little bit surprised that more people don't have trouble with the AK. That leaf sight sticks up there. It's built very rugged, but it wouldn't take much if this were dropped upside down or whacked sideways on something for that to get bent or damaged somehow. It's kind of sticking out there all by itself. And so for that reason, I don't think this is quite as rugged of a design. Um, but it's very intuitive, simple, and easy to use. So, first place goes to the AR-15, second place goes to the AK-47, and last place goes to the HK-93 for sites of military rifles, some of the three most popular military rifles in the world. All right, this is Max Headspace 9mm. Have a good one.